Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to a different opinion. We have a very interesting one here today with New York City, right? And it's crime and it's wildness. And there's a reason why there's more and more people wanting concealed carry in New York. It's because you can't feel safe in that city. I mean, there's over a hundred videos I could literally show you on this just from different crime at, in New York. But I'll just show you a couple and we'll read over the new gun laws that's coming into effect. Um, how you have to be 21 years old if you do want to buy a gun, etc, etc. So we'll jump through that. But before we do, if you do want to support the channel, please subscribe below the video. Help us reach 1,000 subscribers. Also, in the comments, please leave your opinions and also like the videos that you do like. So let's jump straight into this one here. This happened in New York City in broad daylight. So if you are just watching, or uh, listening, BMW is crashing into a Toyota car. And he has stopped the car here. Someone's jumping out with a gun. And trying to smash the window with the gun. And he's got a he's got a backpack or something of sorts, so it's a robbery. And he just drives off. Absolutely insanity. In the middle of the day, and here's a different angle here. So he's smashing him in there. This guy's gutsy, man. I'll give him that. Uh oh, oh he's gonna shoot him. Smash the window. Guy got out the car. Hands up. He obviously knows there's something in this car that he's stealing because he knew exactly where he was going, what he was grabbing. That's insane. It's the middle of the day. There's a reason why, like, this person knows there was something in there. And this comes just before the new gun, gun laws kick into effect on Thursday in New York where it's restricting access to firearms, they're making certain areas gun-free zones, which literally does not stop anyone from shooting someone because we've seen that in just recently in that mall shooting where the actual guy shot the mass shooter himself, and this was all in a gun-free zone, right? In mall, luckily did, he saved many lives, a young guy. And this is happening more and more here. You can see here, it's open season on Jews in New York. The attacks on Jewish people have gone through the roof. So we'll show you here. The attack that sent 31-year-old Yossi Hirschkop to the hospital was an unmysterious crime, the opposite of a stone cold who done it. Security cameras record a clearing video of the group of four men approaching Hirschkop's car, with two of them repeatedly punching him through the driver's side window while his five-year-old child sat in the back seat. Another camera recorded the license plate and model of the attacker's getaway vehicle. The assault took place around 3.40 p.m., so middle of the day again, on July 13th on a busy street in Crown Heights. And the thing that I've seen is, I believe it's over 150% attacks on Jewish people have gone up, and it's just through the roof, just middle of the day attacks. And listen to this. So because the SCOTUS, the Supreme Court, said no to, you know, them limiting people being able to buy guns by having to apply to buy a gun, whereas in, it is your literal constitutional right to be able to buy a gun in America, where they try to stop it and say, no, you have to apply to be able to buy a gun, that was thrown out. And now this is literally, so here it is. So New Yorkers have clamoring to get concealed weapons permits since the US Supreme Court overturned 1913 state law requiring applicants to show proper cause for packing heat. So you literally have to show a reason why you wanna buy a gun. There's been 54% increase in applicants for carry licenses. So this is before the laws change. So people want to also, you got to show a reason why you want to have a concealed weapon carry. I mean, you can't just say it's for your own safety because crime is rising in New York. No, you can't. In response to controversial high court decision two months ago, at least 1,579 applicants have been filed since June 1st compared to 1,024 the same period last year. So up about 550. City stats show surges also seen in other parts of the state from Suffolk County on Long Island to Erie County in Western New York. 
I never thought from the date. So listen, this is what his little stupid mayor is saying. I never thought from the days of watching cowboy movies as a child, of leave your gun at the door, would become a reality in the state of New York. It's not. Like, this is the dumbest thing. They try and always say the most craziest examples of something which makes no sense to what it is because the crime rate surging people want to protect themselves this is the reason why they want to carry and it was a challenging time when we saw the brewing decision handed down i remember speaking with the governor and she immediately moved into action and stated that we were not going to wait until this terrible terrible supreme court decision created a state of how the supreme court is not falling for the you know this propaganda and just not falling in line they're making the decision by the law by the constitution havoc in our city havoc in the city is caused by you for not stopping the crime in this place man literally there's new videos popping up constantly of people so what happening a lot in new york i've seen videos of of where people are on like mopeds bikes and they'll just drive up onto someone someone will jump off they'll grab the stuff off the person jump on the bike and drive off they got another bike behind following as well um as like backup type of thing he joined governor kathy hockel at her manhattan office to bash the scotus ruling while declaring the big apple off limits to wild west antics oh my lord new state laws take effect thursday will bar guns from the crossroads of the world along with bars and a long list of other so-called sensitive locations. Despite the SCOTUS ruling affecting who can apply for concealed weapons permits from the NYPD and county clerks. You cannot tell me this is not a feeling of being surreal, posting these signs, gun-free zones, which doesn't stop anyone. If someone's going to be a mass shooter, they're not going to look at a, oh, this is a gun-free zone, I better not actually shoot people here. Like, that is just the dumbest thing ever. We always evaluate where, the, where we deploy our resources. Is there a need to increase these resources? We will do so. But it stands we have a robust detail that is assigned to Times Square area. Look at this. But the NYPD has yet to allocate additional resources to police the new rules. You literally took a billion dollars off your police force. Defund the police. Defund the police. It's, remember that? Remember that stupid thing that was happening? And then people realize it's such a stupid idea. The Supreme Court's decision has opened additional river feeding the sea of gun violence. We're going to continue to use our laws to and most of the gun violence like when it comes to like mass shootings and all that it's not people with concealed gun permits etc etc it's usually just a psycho kid that just went and bought a gun what i think they need to improve is obviously the background check they need to check on this person and maybe do like a bit of a course to show gun safety so usually at least this will slow it down a little bit i believe if it's a you know just a sudden decision by this person he wants to go and shoot people it'll slow that down at least because they won't be able to get the gun straight away at least put like a little bit maybe of a time stamp on it i guess another law taking effect in september 4 raises the age to buy a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21 following recent shootings by teenagers the alleged racist massacre black shoppers in buffalo earlier this year adams hockel and other officials have warned that loosening gun gun rules will fuel additional shootings amid ongoing surge I just think literally have your normal gun laws but make it a certain time has to pass before you can actually get the gun which it does anyway because usually you go and order it in the gun store and it gets sent to you or whatever you order it gets sent to the gun store i guess as long as the person can't get the gun straight away i believe maybe that'll stop quite a bit of the gun violence in my opinion and then also do a thorough background check on the person for like mental health and things like that because that's where i think it starts it's just it's mentally ill people that are shooting people in my opinion but yes i believe that it's a good idea by the scotus to say no constitutionally people are allowed to carry guns people have the right to do it so sorry to new york mayor eric adams and also governor kathy hockle you guys can't change the the constitution to just fit your little narrative all right this is the law people want to protect themselves maybe be, make the city safer and people wouldn't be applying so much in droves and droves for these guns, right? But I digress. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, like the video if you liked it. And also, subscribe if you do want to support the channel. Help us reach that goal of 1,000 subscribers. 
and then hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.